All right, guys. Well, the, the catch and cook supplement didn't really pan out, but Jennifer's birthday adventure week continues. Yesterday, we were in Fredericksburg, Texas. We climbed Enchanted Rock. We went and fished LBJ Lake. That went okay, but obviously not that well because you didn't see that. Now we are on one of my other favorite river stretches in the state of Texas with a good buddy, Eric Porter. You guys have seen him if you follow the show. We are here on the Loco, the lower Colorado River with, of course, Miss McGuire, Miss Southern Belle. And we're gonna try to get her her first Texas state fish, the Guadalupe bass. This is a really cool subspecies of black bass. I've caught him before with Eric. He put me on my first one. We're gonna see if we can't get her her first Guadalupe. And there's also some big largemouth in here. Are there smallmouth in here? No smallmouth in here, but a lot of big largemouth and other stuff too. We're gonna be throwing all kinds of stuff. We'll get to that when we get on the river. It's a beautiful stretch of river. It's gonna be a blast. We're a little tired. We slept in a van, not down by the river last <laughs> night. We slept in a van on the street last night. Didn't get a ton of sleep, but it's gonna be a good day. We're feeling excited about this. Y'all ready to do it? Oh yeah. Yes, sir. All right, all right. Ready? Yee! All right, so we're starting off with a little half mile paddle to kind of get to the good stretch. And then we're gonna start fishing. It's about a six mile float we're doing. Put a truck down at the bottom where we're gonna take out. And we'll go over what we're fishing with here in a bit. It's beautiful out here though. Leave the river a little cleaner than we found it. All right, so we're at our first obstacle here on the river. We got a little weird dam, and we're gonna have to portage down on the left side, but Eric says it's easy, so. You can just hang out here for a second, we'll get mine first. Just be careful. See the wet rocks? It's real slick. I'm slower here. Yeah, this is. It's a little slick. Yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> Look at that. We're just fishing below this dam. We just portaged around, and Eric said you can catch them right here. First blood for Jennifer. Uh, like might be hard to get her to leave now. Like I told her, that little, that little twig in the water yeah. right there, that's a big slab. Okay. So you can go on in between that and this and go around. Or just or you can go across. dart across. But like, Yeah? Yeah. Man, I saw that rock too and I didn't bother. Jennifer with a hot hand this morning. There we go. Fish number two for Jen on the spinnerbait. Yeah, spinning. She asked if the spinnerbait was worth throwing. Eric was like, well, I don't throw it, but it should work. It's all about confidence and lure to use a lot of time. That's right. Confidence is key. Great work, babe. Nice, nice smooth release. <laughs> that was fine. I'd keep just that like structure. Saw that rock. Saw that rock and there it was. I'd keep throwing that spinner, they're liking it. Alright y'all, well once again, Southern Bell here is out fishing the boys. Eric and I got some work to do to catch up here. And this wind is not making it easy. God darn. Alright, so water's pretty clear, it's pretty shallow. We're fishing a variety of baits right now, one of which being a weightless Senko or weightless worm of your choice. I've got a Senko on. I would normally fish a Wacky, but I already have this tied on. And then I've got a Whopper Plopper tied on. i got a jig, and I've got a square bill crankbait. So we got a couple moving baits, a couple sit and, sit and soak baits. And basically anytime on a river like this, you're just kind of working anything that looks juicy. That's why I love river fishing. A lot of times it's kind of obvious where a fish is going to be in any given stretch. It's basically with a Senko, it's all about just putting it in a good spot, kind of let it lie, let it drift in the current a little bit. Basically, if there's a fish there, he's going to pick it up. 
And uh, if he doesn't pick it up, then I just reel it in and make another good cast. I don't really work it back to the boat by any means. But on the river, it's important. I like to throw it on a spinning reel so I can skip it up under these overhangs. And these fish are going to be tight to structure, tight to the bank, or any good structure, laydowns, boulders out in the middle can hold them too. But they're not going to be out in just the middle of nothing. This lightning kick is kind of the perfect river boat. It's shorter than the strike, more maneuverable, it's lighter. So it drafts really shallow, get up over these rocks in the shallow rocky river. This is definitely a killer little river boat. Loving this thing so far. There's a little spot up here we're gonna get out. Fish this spot a little more thoroughly. He was saying this is a good spot. Nothing's wanting this thing. There you go. That's a, gar. That's a gar again. A gar again. You still got it? Yeah. <laughs> Almost jumped at her boat. Hi. <laughs> I got a gar. You can grab it behind its like pectoral fins. Just grab it real hard. <laughs> Don't put it in your boat. <laughs> Do it. Okay, you said what? Grab it where? <laughs> Behind his pectoral fins, the ones on the side. So Jennifer just lost a, a lawn nose gar and then hooked one right after and got this one in the boat. Now <laughs> she's kind of like, now what? There she goes, she's got it. Hold it tight. <laughs> it's so hard to get it hooking them. That's actually really, really cool. Look at this, you guys. I think that's a long nose gar. There's also spotted gar. You can see why they call it long nose. They got gnarly little sharp teeth. Look at that! <laughs> ah, I love it! She's been wanting to catch a gar from the kayak, and there it is. Prehistoric beast. These things can actually breathe air. They have evolved with a lung for times of drought, so this thing is not suffocating right now. But they are slimy and kind of spiky. Yeah. And the Native Americans would actually use these guys' scales as arrowheads. They got a sharp point on them when you pull them out. Really cool critters. Ancient, ancient species. That's awesome. Alright, I'm gonna let this cool critter go. Bye, buddy. This blends right in. Look at that. <laughs> That's a guad? All right, so here it is. The fish we're after for Jen. Guadalupe bass. Kind of looks like a spotted bass, large mouth, small mouth mix. That is the Texas state fish. You can only catch them here in Texas, right? Patch on the tongue. Little patch on the tongue. That's how you know it's a guad. Turbo. Get out They're strong for their size. They don't get real big. That's a nice one. Nice work, man. There they are, babe. They're here. That was on the oh, Senko. Right in front of me. That was on the Senko. You got one. So. so Eric just had a nice fish out of that lay down there and it got them all wrapped up and he went in to get it and ended up popping off. But there's some fish chewing right now. Your boy didn't have a bite yet, but. Got him. Ooh wee. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, bro. That is a good guad. Oh, you're on too? Doubled up. I got a Guadalupe. A pretty good one. So there is the Texas State fish. My first fish of the day, Guadalupe bass. It's got the tongue patch, tooth patch on the tongue. That's on the Senko, on just like a textbook lay down, a little bit deeper water, just where they should be. Texas state fish, really cool. You can only catch this species in the state of Texas. Looks like a large mouth, but doesn't have the big mouth. Looks a lot like a spotted bass to me, I've always thought. Super cool fish. Not my first one, but my first one was on this river with Eric here. Now we gotta get Jennifer one. Sweet fish, 
cool species. Woo! Very Texas catch right there. And again, what I love about river fishing is just, you look at certain spots and you're just like, I know there's gonna be one right there. No doubt. I didn't know it was gonna be a guad, but I knew there was gonna be a fish. Well, it feels good to get on the board. Both these two have a couple fish. That was my first one. I'll take it. Let's get some more. All right, now Eric's on. What's that? Guad? Nice Guadalupe bass for Eric. And Eric Porter says, if you want to catch the big bass on the river, you got to throw it like you don't want it back, meaning throw it up in that heavy cover. But the big girls will be like in the middle of something like that. Or sometimes they'll be behind it. And sometimes you'll just hook a tree branch. Oh, good catch, Rob. Bad cast. Good catch. Freaking lassoed this thing. Come on. Couldn't hang it up this bad if I tried. <sighs> well, the idea was right. Execution, all wrong. The old limb brim. Tree pounder. Get it! Yeah! <laughs> Is your GoPro going? No? <laughs> Jennifer has got a stud. Oh my god! Oh, so scared! Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Look at this! <laughs> no! Look at it! Oh my god! Holy moly! Oh yeah! Oh my god. Now that is a proper loco oh. largemouth. How's that? That is insane. God bless. I told you there's some big Holy moly. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> On the Senko, huh? On the Senko. Great fish. And it was that it was pulling line, like it was pulling drag and everything. Yeah, I was like, holy moly. Now we're talking. Look at that. <laughs> Stud river bass. I always say a river bass is worth about two pounds heavier in a lake. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking. <laughs> They're so strong. Oh my god. They live their life on a treadmill. Great, great bass. <laughs> Jennifer. Oh my gosh. Southern Belle oh. with a stud. That is amazing. Texas River Largemouth. Got her. Golly, that's a big fish. Looks like she already spawned. She was probably a pound heavier a month ago. Yeah, just hold her mouth into that current and she'll get a good breath and then... Wow. Look at that. And look, I mean, she can camouflage. You know, you go through these areas and you think like, well, if there's bass there, I'll see her. But hell, I know she's there. I can barely see her. Yeah. And there she goes. Oh. How was that? Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it when it came up to the side. I was like, oh my God! But I heard you scream. Like, oh my God! Like this girl's caught some bass, so when I heard her screaming like that, that I knew it wasn't going to be a three pounder, you no, know? I knew no, it was no, going to no, be a no. big fish. Yeah. Already a great day. We ain't, well, I don't think we're halfway Amazing. done. Amazing! <laughs> there we go. Decent one. Oh, I left my net. Yep. I gotta go get it. Come here. Ah, another large mouth, decent little guy. Nothing like that fish Jennifer just caught. That fish could have eaten this fish probably. But I'll take it, I'm getting on him. But I just realized I left my net back up river. I gotta go, I gotta go get it. Dang it. All the excitement of her giant, and I forgot my, my net. Mm. 
Man, it's pretty out here. She doggies. Put your hands up. Free log rides. Yeah, babe, I think right here you ought to pull your drive. We may have to get out and drag, I don't know. But we're gonna go across to the left over there where it's shady, okay? Oh, 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 oh. Should have skipped the second breakfast burrito. Little heavy. All right, got another good spot up here. We're gonna get out real quick, beach the kayaks. And work this spot a little more methodically and a little more thoroughly. See what we can do. See if we can't plug another giant out like Jennifer's. Shoot. Man, that was such like day mate, you know, with that fish. Like, I know, the pressure's off. Yeah, yeah, that'd be, that'd be You got a giant and you got a new species. You already got one new species with the gar. All right, Eric's got the first fish in this little, little run. That we're fishing, that, that's guad? Yeah. Looks like it, that's a good guad. Nice. Great guad. Look, that's a good guad, babe. 3.7 is the record, state record and world record, because they're only here. Yeah. Don't worry, we're about to beat that. Yep, pull out a four pounder, we're ready. I've had a new one in my hand out here, a new record in my hand out here. You didn't submit it, just didn't? Nope, lost it. That is Lost it out of, my, out of my, Hold I was bending one. over on the bank. Trying to get my thing out with my hook, and she shook and popped the hook in my thumb. Oh, and fell in the water. And I had a witness standing there, too. What I mean, stud Guadalupe bass, Texas state fish. So cool, man. You said we we're gonna catch them right here, and there it is. Yeah. Nice one. Pew. Sick. Is that a guad? That's like Look massive that. guad, bro. Massive oh, guad. She just destroys <laughs> us all. Dude. On the, is that on the spinnerbait too? <laughs> she just destroys us all. You're like, hey, you might want to put that spinnerbait down. They really want the Senko, and then, uh, nah. Dude. Well, that's, like a, that's like a, li one, that's a lifetime guad. <laughs> that's a stud. Welcome to my life, bro. <laughs> Welcome to my life. This is not unusual. Look at this. <laughs> Absolute monster Guadalupe bass for Jennifer. We're all throwing Senkos. She decided to throw the spinner. Yeah. And I there was, it is. I was doing the Senko for a minute and I think I'm just gonna try it. This is a big Guadalupe bass. Like I said, the state record, which is the world record, because it's the only state you can catch them in, is 3.7 pounds. And that's a great fish there. <laughs> nice work. Thank you. Monster Guad. That's awesome. New species. Hi. Texas State Fish. Big deal. Southern Bell's having a day to day. Give it some love. Giant bass, giant guad. Mm -hmm. So the world record was 17 inches long. This one's a little over 16. I mean, that's in the 16 inches. That's in the ballpark of the world record. Jennifer's <laughs> out here showing us how it's done. What are we doing, bro? Not like her. I'm man. embarrassed right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm just showing I'm not fishing. That's my that's my Yeah, oh my God. you're guiding. That's all it is. Yeah, yeah. I got no excuse. I've hey, fished this Hey, you remember room. you got hit right there, and then you're like, ah, oh, it's probably a little guy. It's mad I've been this. <laughs> Let it go. We're going to let this monster guad go. Beautiful fish. Golly. And there she goes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> nice. <Yeah. laughs> hey, give me some. 
Killing it. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> check, check, and check. First gar, <laughs> giant large mouth, and her first Guadalupe bass. Have I ever told y'all this girl can fish? She's putting on a clinic right now in a place she's never fished in her life. I think she's getting the hang of this river kayak fishing thing. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> Great job. Yeah, eat a snack so I can catch a fish. Get out of here. No. Whoa, big gar. God, dog. This looks super juicy through here. Catching them every which way today. Oh, I have a fish. <laughs> I just looked down, I was like, that's not where I casted my bait. <laughs> oh, he's taking it about 10 feet away. Yep. A little Guadalupe and a uh, quick release. I had no idea that fish was on. I was messing with something. And looked down and my line had moved about 10 feet. What a lay down, man. This is, this is nice here. Squareville, huh? Yeah. Nice. Saw him eat it. Oh, that was sick. Oh, that was sick, and it's a pretty good one. Oh, yeah. That was so cool to watch. Oh gosh, it's my big fish of the day for sure if I can get it in. Yeah! Well, looky there. My big fish of the day so far, not as big as Jennifer's, just behemoth, but a nice one. And the cool thing is I got to watch it eat my Senko. I twitched it up to the top over a log, and as soon as it stopped near the surface, I just watched her come up and swirl on it. Ah, oh, too cool to see that eat on the Senko on this huge, extensive laydown. I already pulled a Guadalupe out the other side and decided to slow down and keep working it. And there's a nice, largey crate fish. It's amazing. Whew. Good job. Fun day. Yeah. A fun stretch of river. It's been awesome. Nice. And let this beauty go. Oh, she was ready. Nice. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh. Still find me. <laughs> nice. Awesome. What a special stretch of river. What a special day. What a great way to celebrate Jennifer's birthday. With the stud largemouth, her biggest probably in the last year. Definitely her biggest this year. Uh, just absolute tank of a Guadalupe bass, Texas State fish, her first one ever. What a great way to celebrate her. Super fun day. Thank you for bringing me. All right, guys, well, what an incredible day. What an incredible week celebrating Jennifer's birthday. And this was just the like ultimate epic way to end it. She absolutely killed it today. Huge thanks to Eric Porter who did not keep up with her, at, nor did I. <laughs> Outfished both of them. Outfished. We caught some great fish. We yeah. caught good fish, but we've both fished this river. He's fished it a ton. <laughs> I've fished it multiple times. Her first time, just came out and slayed it. But follow Eric on Instagram. I'll put a link down in the description. What an absolute blast! Thank you guys for watching till the end. Hope you enjoyed. 
this little multi-species river kayak fishing adventure across two rivers. Good times. Thank you guys. Please like, subscribe, all that stuff if you feel like it. If not, either way, hope to see you next week. We're out. We're tired. Sunburn. Later. <laughs> Good times. Yeah.